Welcome, of course, Progressive Waves. We are in the part two of the video. If you have not watched the part one, that's the introduction. I'm telling you the part two, you may find it very difficult to solve. You have a question at the board. A progressive wave equation is represented by this equation. And of course, look at the equation here. Calculate the frequency, the period, the wavelength, the wave speed. In the part one of the video, it was already introduced. We met the whole derivations needed. Endeavor to watch it. Now we are into the calculation of aspect of progressive waves. Let's go. You have this equation. And for you to solve it, they have given you a clue already how the equation is. So all you need to do right now, this is the equation y is equal to 3.4 sine of 150t minus 200x. Are you seeing it? Now, what we are going to do from the part 2, of course, we introduced a formula for solving it. You, have you seen it? That's what I'm saying. If you lose the part one, the part two may be tricky for you to understand. So all you need to do, we introduced a formula before in part one of the video that A sine all over omega t minus um, um, a phase angle. We introduced it. That was the first equation I wrote in the part one of the video. All you need to do is compare. Answer will start flowing naturally. This can be so easy as anything. By comparison, let me even add my own question. From this question, what is the amplitude? By comparison, you can see that the amplitude here is what? It's 3.4. By comparison, this equation looks like this equation. We'll be solving a lot of problems under this progressive wave. And if you do not understand how the equation relates, you'll be having issues. From the equation, the amplitude already is 3.4. They want you to calculate the frequency as a number A. How can you calculate the frequency? Compare it. Omega t is equal to 150t. Is it not? Of course it is. This t will cancel this t. So you have angular frequency to be what? 150. We had an issue. From the part one of the video, I told you that the angular frequency is 2 pi f. So you just equate it 2 pi f is equal to what? 150. They ask you to calculate the frequency. From here, you make frequency the subject of the formula. So what you have is f is equal to 150 all over what? 2 pi. Can you see it? Remember, please, your pi is 3.142. Don't forget. Of course, pi is 22 all over 7. And when you press 22 divided by 7, what you should get is 3.142. as in decimal. So, this, this is just 150 divided by what? 2 times 3.142. Are you seeing it? So that is what it means. From here, of course, you can see that your frequency, which is F, your frequency F will give you 23.78. The SI unit of frequency is half. In, free, in physics, we don't joke with frequency, the, the SI unit. So the SI unit, so your answer immediately is 23.78 half. Can you see? This is so easy. I told you. Immediately you watch the part one of the video. This becomes a child's play. Now, the next question. The next question. They want you to calculate the period. The period is the time, T. That's what they want you to calculate. Calculate the period. I'm going to have to be cleaning this thing. That's why you have to be writing it down on your jotter immediately. They want you to calculate the word, the period. From this equation, from here, let me clean this side. Because we have already found the frequency. Remember the frequency was, your frequency F is what? Um, 23, 23.78 hertz. They want you to calculate the period. I want you to know something. Frequency is 1 all over period. The SI unit of frequency is also, of course, S minus because it's 1 all over period. And they want you to calculate period. So all you need to do, your period T is now 1 all over 1. Frequency. So, 1 divided by 23.78 
would give you an answer of 1. 1 divided by 23.78, you have 0.042 seconds. Of course, time is what? Is the SI unit of time is what? Seconds. Can you see it? It's so easy, like I said. This is so, so easy. The number C part, they want you to calculate the wavelength. They want you to calculate the wavelength. Now, how can you calculate the wavelength? We are still on comparison. I will clean this to um, give me space to solve. I will clean it to give me space to solve. Now, um, by comparison, you want to calculate the wavelength. And do you remember in part one of the video? Of course you remember. We said it. We, it, was, it was so easy. I will compare this with this. The angular frequency is equal to 200x. Why? Because angular frequency, the formula is 2 pi x all over lambda. So it's equal to what? 200x. Of course, x will cancel x, right? So you are left with 2 pi all over lambda is equal to what? 200. They want us to calculate the wavelength. So this is all over 1. Of course, you are cross multiplying, right? So you have 200 lambda is equal to 2 pi. Dividing by 200, dividing by 200, this cancel this, right? This cancel that. So you are left with, you are left with lambda. Let me clean to ask this for me to solve. From that above, what you are left with is, That lambda is equal to 2 pi all over 200. Now this should give you 2 times 3.142 all over 200. So if you should punch it in your calculator, what you should get, what you should get as your answer should give you 0 0.0314. And of course, the lambda is measured in what? In meters. That's the answer unit of lambda. Then the last question is to calculate the wave speed. To calculate the wave speed. You can still say it here. Calculate the wave speed, which is the word, the velocity. So, and that is very easy. We already know that velocity from part one of the video is what? F lambda. You already know the answer to your frequency, the answer to your wavelength. So all you need to do is you insert it and the answer will flow naturally. So the wavelength is already here, already calculated, 0 0.0314 times the frequency was 23.78. Watch these two values in your calculator, you should get 0 0.75. And of course the SI unit of velocity is what? Uh, meter per second. That is the SI unit. This is so easy. If you have not watched the part one of the video, the part two will be very, very difficult for you to understand. Endeavor to watch the part one before you come to the part two of the video. We are going to continue dropping a lot of examples under progressive waves. Endeavor to watch it.